Greetings, wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe. We welcome you back once again to our news digest. This day, Saturday, the 24th day of September 2022. And we must say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. Of course, this is vibrating from the desk of Nicky Bobby, where we bring you reliable news across Biafra land and beyond. We are always poised to bring to you the way it is hurting across the Zoological Republic in Biafra land and also across other parts of Africa near the world. Today, we really have a interesting point to bring to you. And one of it is to, to remind the world, the global community today, that up to now that Mazen Namdekano is still in the dungeon of the DSS in Abuja, the federal government of the Zoological Republic, and they have been starving him. They have denied him access to medicals. Which country does that? We are passing this information to the world so that they will be able to hear us and know what is going on in the Zoological Republic. And just to bring this to you, that um, this is breaking news that the EU, European Union, have removed sanctions on Russians, coal, as well as timber. <laughs> Finally, this has come to play. Of course, I am not going to dive deep in into that. Just like to let you know what's happened today, being the 24th day of September 2022. Of course, you know, in Nigeria, in the Zoological Republic, some parts, uh, Saturdays used to be all one day. A lot of celebration, meme activity, people continue playing. Of course, uh, that's one thing with those in the Zoological Republic. They still feel, find a way to feel happy, even amidst of the challenging situation they are facing. But what makes the highlights of today, that being Saturday, of the things that is going on, is the mega rally that is being held in Abuja, the federal capital territory of the Zoological Republic. This rally is held on behalf of food, that is the obedient movement. Of course, I am not a supporter of that, but we bring this news to you because of some of the interesting facts that joined it. One of the highlights of Saturday's march was when newly wedded couple joined the rally in the nation's capital. The move drew the attention of P2B, who took to his social media handle to help the couples. Of course, you've seen it. Uh, people now have resorted uh, to wed and to engage themselves during the rally of P2B. You know what that means. Uh, this is newly wedded couple. They were there today, being Saturday, and they needed to join the rally. And you can see uh, what's the happiness that we bring to the party. Not only P2B alone to the party, but let me just look around and see what the comments have to say, what people have to say, of course, those who are in the same party with P2B. Thousands of supporters of Labour Party presidential candidates, P2B, staged a peaceful rally in Abuja on Saturday, that's today, earlier today. The pro OB supporters marched from the Unity Fountain all to the Moshu Dabiola National Stadium amid heavy security. At the rally alongside the pro OB supporters are officers of the Nigeria Police Force as well as the Federal Rail Safety Corps. The supporters are making a statement that OB and his running mate, Dati Baba Med, have physical structures beyond social media. Of course, some people can see it. How is going on? What is going on? But let's see what others have to say as regards to this. Obi took to his social media handle to salute and congratulate all the newly wedded couples in Abuja whose special day coincided with the obedient family march in Abuja. And the march to other presidential candidates tweeted, of course, uh, yeah, this is the situation. Wishing you both a blissful and happy married life and children who will grow up in a united, secure, and a productive zoo. That is what to be said. Although he didn't call it zoo, I am the person who mentioned some words in style. Of course, you know the meaning of zoo. <laughs> he said Nigeria. Uh, this is people-oriented candidates according to what the party have said. That uh, Labour Party is people-oriented party as well as P2B is people-oriented candidates. Demonstrators had last week staged a peaceful rally in Ebony State, in Nigeria's southeast, as well as other states across the Federation. In his reaction to the rally, the national chairman of the party, Barista Julius Abure, said the development shows the acceptability level of the Labour Party. The rallies are not surprising. It is because the Labour Party has a people-oriented candidate that we work for the people and that will effectively serve the interests of the party. 
he said in a statement on Saturday. Well, this is what is going on in the Zoological Republic today. Youths are turning up supporting Labour Party in the name and the sake of P2B. On coming your way again is the issue of insecurity that has been ravaging the Zoological Republic right from the onset since 2015. And this says that the major highway in Borono have been closed as a result of Boko Haram T group who have barricaded and bracketed the Nigerian troops. Of course, this is what is going on. And their leader has promised the federal government of the zoo that he is ready to give them multitude of wars if that is the choice of the Zoological Republic government. The three groups have ambushed troops of uh, Operation Hadding Care, escorting commercial vehicles from Medugri to Dambua in Faluaja village of Borono State. A major highway between Medugri and Dambua town has been closed down as troops of the Nigerian army engaged Boko Haram T group in long hours of shootouts on Saturday, that is earlier today. It was gathered that the suspected members of um, this T group ambushed troops of Operation Hiding Kia, escorting commercial vehicles from Medugri to Dambua village in Borono State. And a counter suggests sports and security analysts in the Lake Chad. Zagazula Makama noted that local sources, some of whom escaped the attack, confirmed that the ambush triggered a heavy exchange of gunfire between the T group and the soldiers, forcing passengers in the convoy to scamper for safety with the help of the troops. Well, this is the situation. They have remained headbent. Uh, of course, this is still the fashion of the FG. This Boko Haram T group, they are the fashion of the FG. It is the FG that are doing all these things. These are the people that they formulated. How can things go well? Well, as things are going, we still want to let our people know uh, those uh, inhibiting in uh, half year, what the Zoological Republic has been doing since a day ago. They have been going from house to house, the Zoolog Zoological Republic Army, their police, their DSS and disturbing our people. But then the area of the Borono side, they cannot stand as men. They will always come to our side and they will be disturbing our innocent brothers and sisters who has nothing with no arms, people walking around. This is the, the people, the set of people that the Zoological Republic Army, their, their police will always come with their arms to disturb. Go to Zambisa Forest, no way. Go to Medjugorje, no way. And uh, these ones, uh, they are giving them headache. But they will come here and every time they will be disturbed. And following that, France have closed airports as plane overshoots run away, skid into lake. Of course, this is the situation. Uh, this airport has been closed down because of the situation. I don't know the reason why it must get to this particular point. Uh, so that is why the government of France decided to close down the airport for the meantime, for the safety of the people living over there. The Boeing 737 of the West Atlantic cargo carrier tilting with its nose in the lake and body perched on the land. French authorities on Saturday shut the airport in the southern city of Montpellier for an indefinite period after a cargo plane overrun the runway and ended up with its nose in a nearby lake. Uh, this is what we are receiving as regards to situation of things across the globe. <laughs> Wonderful people, we just wanted to pitch to you some of the situation that is going on. Of course, we wouldn't forget to let you know that it is high time you equally monitor your environment. Always be security conscious. We ourselves, we are working so hard to make sure that we protect our areas. You yourself try to do so, especially as we are heading towards this December. And of course, you know what politicians in the Zoological Republic are capable of doing. Security in Biafra land is not only meant for ESN. So you yourself, you have a duty, you have a, re a responsibility to contribute in maintaining security in Biafra land. We thank you for listening. Of course, we want to equally employ you to hit the subscribe button and share our videos to those who might need it. Give us thumbs up should you like what is going on here. We are Biafrans, of course. We say that it is in Biafra land that all of us have our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you remain safe and blessed wherever you may be.